She said she needed something from you. Time to go play Big Brother for a bit, huh? I guess so. Thanks, Popola. Yay, you're back. Popola said you needed something? Yeah. A what is it? Um... I can't help if you don't tell me, sis. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your friend? Yep, I have a friend. And we've been writing each other letters. Seriously? A pen pal? Oh, delightful. So who is this friend? Um, well, he's kinda... He? It's a guy? Yes, and he's sick and in a whole lot of trouble. And I know that you and Vicey are the only ones who can help him. Vicey? Tell me about this guy. He lives in this really big house down south. And he's super nice. And he's my friend. So you have to help him. Please? Yona, listen. Please? Great. Now what do I do? Fine. I'll see what I can do. Yay! Thank you! Great. Yona's got a boyfriend. Is something amiss, lad? Your voice is trembling. No, it isn't! Shut up! We have been waiting for you, sirs. Please, right this way. Please, wait here. Waiting's a bitch. Just let me know if any shades show up, okay? I do not like this one bit. What's the matter, Vice? Scared? Uh, perhaps we... Hmm. Hey, where'd Kaine go? I knew this was a terrible idea. Haunted manners and the like. Oh, why does no one ever listen to me? What's this? The picture has changed. Shades! What foul hole did they call from? You're a male. Young. Not even 20. You figured that out from my footsteps? It's not hard, once you know how. Then I suppose I should tell you about my friend Vice. I... I only heard one set of footsteps. Grimoire Vice does not strut about like a common land mammal. <clears throat> but enough of this introductory chatter. Let us hear your tale. My name is Emil. I'm the master of this manor. So you're the one who sent the letters? Letters? What are you talking about? Of course you don't know. Such a thing would be far too simple. No! Stay back! Huh? I'm sorry. It's my eyes. Anything I look at gets turned to stone. That's why I live with this blindfold. What a remarkable skill. I've never heard of such a thing. Anyway, I suppose my butler might know more about the letters you received. This key here can unlock any door in the manor, so if you'd like my assistance... No, please, don't trouble yourself. We can get around on our own. Oh, right. Sure. Well, here's the key then. The butler's quarters are at the far end of the manor. Let me at least give you a map. It's a big place, and I don't want you to get lost. Uh. 
advice. What should we do about Kaine? Leave her. That woman is capable enough on her own. Jeez. Remind me to never get on your bad side. What's that? A butler. Or at least a remarkable likeness of one. I knew this was a trap. Curse my brilliant intuition. <laughs> Shades! that another one hmm. <laughs> it moves what's going on here sir what is this oh this is my butler he helps me out around the manor he's a good man at heart but a bit inflexible almost like a statue yes and I do apologize for that, Master Emil. <laughs> I doubt he's even human. We're here because my sister received some letters from this manor. Mm, yes, I wrote those letters. Please forgive my impertinence. As you may know, Master Emil, deeply pained by his eyes, has shut himself away from the world. He suffers greatly behind that blindfold. And I feel it is my duty to help however I can. I heard tale of the exploits of an emerging hero, and so I sent a letter to you under Master Emil's name. But I received a response from one Miss Yona instead. Wait, so Yona's pen pal is you? It is, sir. My letters merely requested that you come to the manor. I meant no ill intent. I believe Yona saw the exchange somewhat differently. Yeah, sounds like she misunderstood the situation. Regardless, I am quite pleased to see you here. Long have I dreamed of the day we might be able to do something about Master Emil's eyes. I see. Yes, well, I am afraid we, or at least this lad beside me, is neither hero nor physician, so if you'll excuse us... Please, we're so close. The cure for Master Emil's condition is located in this very manner. Then why don't you just go get it? Alas, the location of the cure has become a den for those abominable shades. And I lack the skill to combat them. I beg of you, defeat the shades and restore Master Emil's sight. You know this is an impossible task. Why would you ask it of our guests? Well, we've no more time to waste, so... It's okay. We'll do it. See here, lad. This is no time to play the hero. People need to look out for each other, Vice. Plus, we have to find Kaine anyway. A thousand thank yous. I owe you a debt that can never be repaid. I'm really sorry for all the trouble. My butler cares so much for me, but for him to make such outlandish requests... A thousand thanks to all of you. But hey, at least I can petrify your enemies. That's got to be some help, right? I can't let you do this on your own, so I'll be right here if you need me. Maybe my eyes can be useful for once. This is it. We should find the cure somewhere nearby. Bah, I do not like anything about this place.
This book's kind of like you, Vice. Oh, aren't we, Clary? As if any mere tome could compare to the wonderment that is Grimoire Vice. <laughs> Petrification is a fearsome power indeed. There's no end to this! Hate for this infernal book are sharp as knives! Guess you never learned that trick, huh? by this thing. Help! This foe's strength is beyond measure. What do we do? I am an arcane text, not some manual of combat. You are supposed to deal with such matters. You guys run! I'll hold it off while you escape! Who's this kid? That's Emil. He's the one who runs this... Fuck! This book is a real asshole! She's not even listening. Too busy vomiting filth disguised as language. You guys go! This is my fight! I can't ask you to die for me! My, aren't we the bold one? And yet I fear that would be a foolish course of action at this juncture. Besides, we'd never let you do that! Would you all please just shut the hell up? What? I'm just saying, if you bastards want to have a goddamn civilized discussion on the merits of bravery and sacrifice, we can do it later! Is this your way of encouraging us? Have we truly sunk to motivational speeches from a woman in her undergarments? I guess so. Vice, this is it! Research report on petrification. Well, well. Oh no! This passage is written in some kind of code! We went through all this trouble to find it, and now... Oh look, Jeeves is back. Please allow me to handle this, Master Emil. I shall put all of my efforts into deconstructing this cipher. No matter how long it takes, I will not fail. Sebastian. Ah, so the servant has a name after all.
Emil, listen to me. What is it, Kaine? Your eyes are not a sin. Don't ever be ashamed of them. They're a vital part of you. Do you understand? This arm is an accursed weapon. I thought I would only need it until I had earned my revenge. Once that happened... <laughs> I figured it was all over. But there's a reason I'm alive. That my arm is alive. And there's a reason for your eyes, too. Kaine! But listen. If this shade should ever... I'll never give up, Kaine. But you can't give up either. Well, we're off. All right. Hey, so Yona's sick, and she doesn't get out much. Do you think you might be able to send her more letters when you have the time? I would be delighted, sir. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for everything. Take care, Emil. I hope your eyes get better soon. Hmm. I saw you exchange some words with that Emil lad earlier. Hopefully it was nothing inappropriate for a young man of his age. Hmm. Hmm. Speak the truth, hussy! Book? Shut up. Yeah, calm down, Vice got our hands on all the sealed verses now. All that remains is to find this grimoire noir. Then we can finally save Yona. <laughs>